Throughout time, people have saved sea. But around the mid 20th century, many people left the farm for good. And seed saving was all but forgotten. But there remain pockets, landscapes where agrarian dreams die hard. The Ozarks is one of those places. Seed swap in the Ozarks. From my mother in Rosebud, Arkansas. It's the essence of life. You can print a dollar bill, but you can't make a seat. That's true. There's a skeleton piece. 1760 that came over on a sailing ship into Charleston, South Carolina. They're a Detroit red beans. It was just kind of cute on some seed. Here, take it. Yeah, you want it's more? A generous here, here. Yeah. We're rich. Yeah, we're rich in seed. That's right. In 2007, Dr. Brian Campbell, an anthropology professor, started the project Conserving Arkansas's Agricultural Heritage. There is a precedent for this, and they are now at their 10th annual seed swap. Students are running this project. You cannot save seed from hybrids. You want more cup? You know, I would love to just get a few of them to grow out and save the seed. Well, from we don't plant them anymore. These are his seeds. If the power continues to be consolidated into a few multinationals' hands, the sustenance of the world really is at risk. We've been growing these for four generations. You know. Getting people involved and people knowing that they can grow their own food, it really puts a lot more power back into the hands of the people. That'd be really exciting, you know, if you could just have a little bit of a seed swap festival. Seed swap. 